Your family says you grapple with the demon. If there's a demon in me, it's always been there. There are no demons here. Mary of Magdala. I'm not a religious expert, and I'm not necessarily religious either, but the thing that we connected to was the spiritual message, and in some ways that's the message that's been lost today, and I think that's the whole point, is that we're taking people back to the core message of Jesus, that we all have it in us, so I just had to trust that. We're seeing Jesus' life through her eyes and through her experience. There's never been a story about Mary Magdalene, and that's quite different than anything we've seen before. Why shouldn't she follow him? People will judge us. The religious epic is a genre of its own, and we all have various opinions of Mary Magdalene, some of them wildly incorrect. She will do God's will. I feel that it's a really fascinating narrative about the tiny group of people who felt they could change the world. God's kingdom is not to be bought and sold! We need to take him away from here. Whatever happens now, it's what God has asked of him. Mary hears that message and interprets it as something entirely different, that the kingdom is actually within us through love and compassion and forgiveness. We have the power to be the great change that the world needs. <laughs> we really wanted to teach the audience and teach the characters to discover the answers, not be told what they are. I think there is something really beautiful in in what Jesus was saying, not just as a spiritual leader, but as a healer and as a man. And I think that that's something that audiences of all kinds can, can take something out of. I will not be silent. I will be heard.